So happy Saturday. I hope all is well. I have an update for you guys on the coronavirus. So here we are with this update. So as of Saturday, August 15, 2020, globally, we're sitting at 21,380,000 cases of COVID-19. Um, the death toll of the coronavirus Haitian, so the death tolls is 769,467. Our cases in the U.S. is 5,359,748, with our fatalities here in the United States at 169,467. I'm only focusing on the states only. So here in the states, um, Cal California has the highest cases of COVID and is at 621,412 with the death toll at 11,220. Florida's 400, I mean, excuse me, 569,629 cases of COVID-19 with their death toll at 9,344. Texas. Uh, has 552,778 cases with their um, fatalities at 10,373. New York, which was one of the, hey Joseph, was one of the um, epicenters of this um, COVID crisis, is now at 429,617, which we still have the highest death toll in the country at 32,414. Georgia is at 218,344 with their death toll saying at 799,59. Illinois is at 206,400, I mean 505, and they're at 7,959. New Jersey, no, excuse me, Ellen, I mean Arizona, sorry, before New Jersey. Arizona is at 192,658 with their death toll at 4,497. Now New Jersey, which was the second highest cases, is now moved down to the eighth highest cases of COVID-19, is at 189,281 with the second highest death toll in the country at 15,910. North Carolina is at 143,951 with their death toll at 2,370. Louisiana, 136,860 with their death toll sitting at 404 and 430. Tennessee is at 128,771. I did not flag Tennessee at first, but Tennessee numbers were very alarming because they were not in these top tiers and now they have moved up. So they're right behind Louisiana is at 1,000, their death toll is at 1,331, and now South Carolina at 105,750. They're also seeing not just high spikes in COVID, their hospitalization is really on the rocks. It's not great. Um, it's not a great situation, especially in their capital in Columbia, and their death toll is at 2,260. Now within the counties. Most of these stuff you can find on the John Hopkins website or you can find on the New York Times COVID map. New York Times COVID map is only for the states, while the John Hopkins website is for the whole entire world and the states, but only goes by counties with the states. But as for globally, it goes by country. So Louisiana is at two, 218, no, not Louisiana, counties. Los Angeles is 218,831. Miami-Dade County is at 142,662. Maricopa is at 128,352. Um, Cook County, which is in Chicago, is at 114,724. Harris County, which is in Houston, Texas, is at 90,574. Queens um, County, which is in Queens, New York, which was the epicenter of COVID-19 throughout New York State. Um, they were the county with the highest cases is now is at 68,319 and Broward County, which is in the Florida area, I believe is close to Miami. I'm not quite sure where Broward County is, but I know it's in Florida. Um, it's also becoming a hot spot and it's 65,369. I won't be surprised because they surpassed Brooklyn already, which is Kings County. So I'm not surprised if they will surpass Queens because Florida, Texas, and 
California are seeing rising cases, along with Georgia, along with Illinois, along with um, Arizona, and along with um, South Carolina, North Carolina. All these states in the red on the New York Times COVID map is seeing these high cases. And of course, like I said, we have no national strategy to combat this thing. We're almost ending our first wave of COVID-19. If you study pandemics, pandemics will last up to between a year to two years at the most. The um, Spanish flu, which is called influenza, started during World War One, as we was ending World War One and post World War One up into I believe near close to women's suffrage, so um, in of 1920. So that's where we are in terms of COVID. So, and of course, this is not just only a public health crisis, which is the main thing, but it's also an economic crisis because we're seeing people losing their jobs that work in retail or work in sales. Um, a lot of stores are closing down. GNC is in their final weeks of closing. Um, New York and Company is in, we don't know where they're up because they're up in the air. I know they filed for bankruptcy. Just because you filed for bankruptcy sometimes doesn't mean that you're closing your store. JC Penney filed for bankruptcy. Um, Brooke Brothers filed for bankruptcy. J. Crew filed for bankruptcy. Link Bryan filed for bankruptcy. And um, Ann Taylor filed for bankruptcy. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be more stores filed for bankruptcy. There's a lot of small businesses that have not see, received the PPP loans, um, especially if you're a black minority owned, or oh, basically minority owned business. I know in New York, we have a lot of small businesses and mostly are minority owned and some of them that has not come back. They had to, they put all their savings in and now they're bankrupt them, their damn selves. So that's where we are in terms of of this whole entire virus and of course donald trump is just doing whatever so as i conclude this short live as i said you may not have your favorite candidate even though my favorite candidate is actually now the vp i wanted her to be the president people are like why you support her do your research on all candidates and then you understand so as i said people you may not like who is your nominee for president right now but look we have a serious crisis here. And this potential nominee, this potential president, had dealt with two pandemics under the first African-American president. So besides the crime bill stuff, which pisses people off, which I hope they resend that. You know, he looked like he, type, he will actually listen to people because he is listening to Bernie Sanders on the low. For those who don't know, do your research on the Biden-Sanders unity task force because they're working on a lot of policies to address a lot of these issues so he dealt with two pandemics ebola and h1n1 and so this is should be one of the reasons to drive you to the polls so as i end this please wear your mask please 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 wear your mask wash your hands and continue to do mitigation is very 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 important i want to see all you guys in 2021 i actually want to be able to see you physically and not virtually. So until then, everyone, be safe, be well. I'll uh, see you tomorrow with more updates on numbers. Have a good night.